Welcome to Nystrom Education, the largest producer of globes and atlases in the United States. I'm Pam Gothar, your professional learning director. Exploring Where and Why is a hands-on social studies program. Thank you for participating in Exploring Where and Why 101, Session 3, Cross-Curricular Instruction. Exploring Where and Why builds a solid foundation of essential social studies skills and concepts develops responsible citizens in the community, country, and world, and develops multicultural awareness and sensitivity. Exploring Where and Why also reinforces reading, writing, math, and science. It develops critical thinking skills and integrates frequent assessment and evaluation opportunities. Exploring Where and Why stimulates a variety of intelligences, provides learning opportunities for diverse learning populations, and ensures success for all students. You met Miss Lynn in some previous videos. Here she's sharing with you again about the Exploring Where and Why program, People and Places Everywhere. And here she's demonstrating and showing for you all the components involved in your program. Part of our session today, we're going to talk about what is cross curricular instruction, where will I find cross curricular connections in Exploring Where and Why, and then we're also going to show you some examples of cross curricular opportunities. Cross-curricular is an instructional approach that integrates content and skills from multiple disciplines, helps learners make better connections, helps learners to see the big picture, and provides them with theme-based learning. Your teacher's guide contains everything you need to execute cross-curricular activities with your students using our hands-on, minds-on approach. Let's take a look. Here are your scope and sequence pages. You'll see how Exploring Where and Why is a scaffolded program that builds on the previous year. At the bottom of page 22 in your Roman numerals, you will see a few of the icons that represent the cross-curricular opportunities you will have in neighborhoods near and far. When we say cross-curricular, we really mean cross-curricular. You'll be integrating lessons into science, holidays, language arts, math, dramatic plays, art, geography, music, culture, civics, history, economics, critical thinking, and reading. I think you understand we do mean cross-curricular. Previously, we've talked about the difference between units, lessons, and activities. In this particular session, we're utilizing Unit 4, Lesson 5, Activity A, Events from Our History. Ms. Lynn has selected to use the extending opportunity for reading. Students were paired together for this activity and each pair of students was allowed to select a book about transportation changes in the United States. One student reads to the other and then they swap responsibilities. Looking for some great nonfiction text? Well, here it is. Map Champ Atlas has the great nonfiction text for you and your students. The text is based in small chunks and is correlated with maps, graphs, and other visuals to help students bring even a better and deeper understanding to what they are studying. In addition to the MapChamp Atlas, you also receive 15 literacy lessons in which skills are introduced to the students and reinforced through their opportunities to engage with the MapChamp Atlas. Here are just a few examples of the many ways that you can engage your students with the literacy lessons and your MapChamp Atlases. Here we have recognizing text features, using illustrations and text to support one another, or maybe even having your students report on a topic that you've just covered. This example gives you an opportunity to talk about the visual displays. Particularly, it wants to know of these different display options, which one best meets the needs in a particular situation. Students are analyzing for that skill. The Where and Why program also comes with a literacy library, 12 books that are fiction and nonfiction. You'll be learning more about this cross-curricular approach in session four. This brings us to the conclusion of this session. Let's look at your assignment. 
I'd like for you to write a reflection and include the responses below after you use any of the cross-curricular activities exploring where and why. Think about what activity did you use? How did your students respond? Did the activity help meet your goals for the discipline that it supported, such as math or science? Was the activity well designed? Will you use this activity again next year? Why or why not? It has been a pleasure sharing with you today about cross-curricular instructions. Please send your reflection to me, P. Gothart, at nystromeducation.com. Once I receive your reflection, I will send you some feedback and a certificate for two hours of CEUs. Again, thank you for joining this session of Exploring Where and Why 101.